Well, Colorado leaders on both sides of the aisle calling each other out over the national headlines the city of Aurora has been making with the alleged Venezuelan gang violence. Now, this weekend, Congresswoman Lauren Boebert held a roundtable discussion in Aurora to discuss the threat. But Fox 31's Elias Sims spoke to Congressman Jason Crow, who believes the Aurora gang issue is being misrepresented. Kim, we are hearing from both sides of this controversial issue. While Congresswoman Lauren Boebert believes gangs have taken over Aurora apartment complexes, Congressman Jason Crow says that statement is overblown and the extent of the problem is misrepresented, making it hard for law enforcement to do their job. These mischaracterizations, there's been you know some type of gang takeover of portions of Aurora are just not true. Congressman Jason Crow says he wants to set the record straight about what's happening in the largest city in his district. He acknowledges isolated incidents of gang involvement. But far cry from uh, this pervasive uh, reign of terror that some uh, folks who come from outside of our community would lead you to believe. Crow says a handful of politicians have distorted the issue of transnational gang violence into something it's not. He says the bad living conditions at some complexes date back 18 months and are a result of absent out-of-state landlords who are not responsive to the need of tenants. This is exposed wiring, which was unsafe, uh, black mold, uh, roofs that were collapsing, leaking, uh, just really uninhabitable conditions. He also says that local neighborhood gangs pose a much larger threat than Venezuelan gangs. However, Republicans in Colorado's congressional delegation have pushed their claims on what's happening. Sure, maybe the entire gang is not occupying this building room by room, but there are places um, where they have occupied and, and use this for drug use, um, solicitation, extortion, and uh, and then even uh, the trafficking of of. of adults and children, it seems. People that are coming in and talking about these uh, these foreign gangs, these are folks who say nothing about gun violence in our schools, nothing about affordable housing, nothing about late local neighborhood uh, gang issues at the Metro Gang Task Force and the, the organizations, uh, the law, local law enforcement that I've supported for years are, are dealing with. Crow goes on to say there has been a long-term issue with safe and affordable housing for some of the immigrants and refugees. He says he is working to fix the issue along with members of the federal congressional delegation, and he says they have worked to get emergency funding from FEMA to help service providers, local cities, and nonprofits to deal with the large surge of immigrants. He says he's also directed congressional direct funding for housing assistance. Kim?